the operating context and functions. So when you do reliability-centered maintenance the right way, you start by writing an operating context, which is basically like a story of what the equipment is all about. And it allows the facilitator and the working group to kind of get on the same page about the equipment. It details the equipment um, from a technical perspective, but it also identifies the operating environment. That is, where the equipment is used, how often it's going to be used and it, exactly what is expected from it. And that's where you need to begin when it comes to creating a proactive maintenance plan and other default strategies for equipment. So there's no coincidence that the RCM process starts with functions. See there are seven steps in the process and the first one is writing functions. Now here's what my mentor John Mowbray taught me about equipment reliability. He taught me that reliability isn't a thing in its own right, but rather reliability is sprinkled amongst all of the functions of a piece of equipment. So, when we identify functions for our equipment and we include specific performance standards, what we're basically doing is we're defining the kind of reliability that we need and want from our equipment. Let's take a look at this in more detail. We've said that it's essential to start with clarity about what we need, and we've got to be specific. But even if an organization takes the time to write equipment functions, it's often done as a matter of routine, and the functions lack the required details. Let's look at some real-world examples. On the left are functions from an air compressor analysis that I was asked to review because they didn't achieve the desired results. And on the right are functions from an air compressor analysis that I facilitated. Let's look at the left side first. Deliver compressed air to tank. Filter and remove particulates from intake air. Monitor pressure level. This function describes just about every air compressor. This one just about every intake air filter. And this one just about every pressure indicator. Now let's take a look at functions that define what the organization requires. In other words, functions that define reliability because they include specifics on what the organization requires from the asset. To provide compressed air that is oil-free at less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, at a minimum of 4,000 standard cubic feet per minute, at 110 PSIG output pressure, to make up this compressor's portion of maintaining 14,000 standard cubic feet per minute and 110 PSIG head of pressure to the plant. To remove particles greater than or equal to 1 micron from the incoming air to the compressor. To indicate main pump oil discharge pressure within plus or minus 3 psi. This is writing functions as a matter of routine. And this is defining reliability. Another valuable benefit of writing functions properly is that organizations learn a lot about their equipment. Even with legacy equipment, a lot is discovered about how a system operates. Sometimes chronic failure isn't due to inadequate maintenance, but, for example, maybe because equipment isn't being operated correctly. Writing functions may seem like a simple and straightforward task, but it is an essential part of responsible custodianship.